well good morning um i've hopefully managed to get some footage that works well for a five second show of, of what it's like or sounds like in chemo and uh, the radio therapists were good enough to let me um, leave my camera on um, I'm going to leave it zoomed out when I show you the radio therapy thing because it's got my bottom in it <laughs> well at the side anyway I think that's all you can see I'll go through and double check um, nobody wants to see that I tell you um, <laughs> so this is 30 minutes of radiotherapy condensed into 30 seconds so this first bit is where they check my bladder is full because my bladder moves all of my other organs out of the way while they do the radiotherapy now they're trying to line up my tattoos to make sure that I am pinpoint perfect to how the very first scan was when they did it so that's all sorted. This bit is a CT scan. So they do a CT scan to make sure that that my positioning now matches the position that I was in when I had my initial scan, just to make sure everything is all in the right place. So when they do the radiotherapy, they are zapping the right place. So all of that is very important too. And now I sit and wait while they check one scan against the other. Then, normally at this point, you get a little bit of a bed movement and the bed will move a little bit and then I know that everything's fine at this point before I've been kicked off the bed because I've either needed a poo or I've needed to trump and they kick you off but when you see that coming out over the top you know for sure that the good treatment is going to get started now the big square thing is the dosing measure and the round thing is where I get my radiotherapy. So the radiotherapy goes through me at that point and then the dosing thing makes sure that the right dose is getting to me and they can adjust it as they're going along if there's any problem with it. So I have to sit there with my butt out while it goes round and round and figures out like that. Then when you see the big square thing go back in again, you know that the treatment's over and in a couple of seconds the uh, nurses will come back in again and get me off the bed. So I've got to sit there and wait patiently for them to come back in again, still with my bottom out, and I've got a little piece of paper giving me dignity at the front there. So then, trousers up, off the bed, and I'm done. Uh, it does just show um, what it's like when uh, when I'm in there. So if anybody is about to embark on anything like that, um, it looks scarier than it is. I think me seeing it from that point of view was a bit like, ooh, because you just have things whizzing around over your head while you're lying there. So. So yeah, um, thankfully I've continued to feel better, which is uh, which is always good. Uh, the overriding thing I've got now is fatigue. Um, I just feel whacked out all the time. And I don't know if it's because I'm trying to get myself back into my, a little bit of my pre-treatment uh, schedule. Um, I do have loads of accounts work to be doing. Um, I'm just being upfront with everybody right now and saying, that uh, I can't, there's, there's no quick thing. Cause I mean, if I come back and I need to nap, I can't argue with that. If I need a nap, I literally can't keep my eyes open and nobody wants me doing her accounts if I can't stay awake. So everything is taking a little bit longer um, to do. Um, I've got someone working with me, which is great. Um, and if anything, they're double checking my stuff. So far, everything is okay. But um, I just want to make sure that I've not got, I mean, everyone mentions chemo brain and, and things like that on top of menopause brain. Um, so having that double check for me is well worth having. Um, I'm very, very happy about, about that, even though it seems so far that I don't need it. I'm happy to be told I don't need it. So, um, so yesterday at Radio Therapy, Tuesdays. Tuesdays are terrible. It's Wednesday today, uh, but Tuesdays are terrible at, at, uh, at the hospital in general. It must be just one of their busiest days. So it's almost impossible to get parked um, and everywhere is just busy. So I was there. We got there at one and I think I left at four yesterday. So a bit of a busy day, but I did have um, a little meeting about my brachytherapy. So I've been given some more bits of information. Whoop. Some more bits of information about interuterine brachytherapy um, and uh, 
all the things about what's that and they sat down with me and showed me so this here is the brachytherapy bed so you see the thing at the end this this bit here that's the bit that is attached to the radioactive bars that are placed inside of me under general anesthetic um what did make me laugh is that they put them in under general anesthetic and then put loads of packing in so they don't move and then you've literally got to lie still until you've had a ct scan an mri and the actual this this thing here which does do whatever it's doing down there um and then after that they take it out with gas and air mm. and um i'll be catheterized while that goes on because there's no moving i'll be lying flat on the bed um and then uh, and then they take the bars out send me back to the ward and then i've just got to go for a wee before they let me go home so it's um it'll be they reckon in hospital for 24 hours maybe 30 hours something like that so that's not terrible and then i go home and then i go back in the next day stay overnight blah 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 i've also had a few uncomfortable conversations i mean i've been given this pleasure and intimacy apparently it's been written by people who have had cancer before and have had the problems with that afterwards so um there's lots of things to go through lots of bits about oh, um how to find um your libido afterwards um oh oh that's a, oh that's a picture oh that's a picture um and all about vaginal atrophy atrophy that'll be the one and along with that i get these and a piece of paper all about vaginal dilators so there were the conversations <laughs> to have yesterday i mean don't get me wrong i want it all to work properly afterwards you know happily married and all that <laughs> um but yeah it's it's just the conversations like that that just keep on coming you know i'm glad that they're putting a lot of time and effort into making sure that all of my bits work afterwards um i'm very very pleased to hear that it's uh it's definitely a good thing but um the blushes just keep coming with things like that it is uh i know it's one of those things that everybody in there that has this kind of thing has to talk about um but yeah so that was that was some fun conversations yesterday so yeah so mostly now um it is just going up for radiotherapy all the time um i'm doing some accounts this morning and then go for radiotherapy and then i'm on for a shift tonight um strangely before i started with all the treatment the morning shifts were absolutely wiping me out and the evening shifts were easier and now it's the opposite way around um i find that i've if when i wake up i feel okay I've, I've literally just got out of bed it is half past eight um and uh and i feel okay in the morning and then i'm done in by the night time so i might have a word with them and see about moving some of the shifts to see if it makes it any easier for me um but apart from that it's just a case of uh, of cracking on we've got to do a bit of food shopping today um and the fact that i feel up for going out is is amazing um the thing with john honestly um every morning he asks me he goes how are you feeling this morning sweetheart get a big cuddle and a kiss and it's lovely and the look on his face when i say that i'm feeling okay is it's like worth it all together he just looks so happy and i think he relaxes straight away when he knows he doesn't have to kind of worry about me quite so much um or that he's happy that i'm feeling fine i mean i think i would be if it was the other way around as well i think i'd be so relieved um if he was feeling much better than he was beforehand so yeah um hopefully it'll be a nice uh a nice easy day week let's see um and if everything goes to plan and i do feel good then we're planning on just having a bit of a treat out this weekend we're gonna go somewhere on friday i think maybe find the seaside missed that a little bit um and just go out somewhere just in john's van and um and see what we can do there so yeah so i really do hope you like the insight into what it's like in the in the chemo and the uh, radiotherapy at least anyway um just to see the rooms and things sometimes it's uh it's it's good to see a thing when i watch them back and be like oh crikey okay 
um, and see that. So yeah. Well, I hope everybody has been enjoying the weather. I mean, we had a lovely 1940s weekend at Willow Fields, the weekend just gone. Um, it did uh, turn out lovely. The weather was brilliant, a little bit windy, but everyone was dressed up. There was a 1940s singer. There was a um, like an Anderton shelter uh, mock-up that you could see. All the vehicles were out, all the uh, old vehicles. There was a, a military jeep. Um, they were doing spam fritters and spam butties at the at the bar spam and egg with the wartime veggie soup um it was really really good uh so that was lovely to feel well enough to go and sit out for that anyway but yeah so anyway i hope everybody <laughs> my digressing again um i hope everybody's had a lovely weekend and i hope everybody's been enjoying the mixed weather that we're having at the moment um and yeah uh i will probably try and get this video out as soon as i can and um and i'll catch up with you all on there uh take care everybody and i'll uh, catch you on the next video bye